paper, piece of paper in front of the door, you're having this gentleman who is so-and-so, and he's complete, complaining of hip pain, kindly examine so-and-so. So, knock the door, Assalamu alaikum, Sabah khair, and ask me to turn it on, Muntah and the Border Arabi. اسمح لي اني افحصها كل يوم؟ طبعا شكرا لك. في عندك مشكله في المشي او الحركه؟ في اي مكان بيألمك؟ تمام. خلي حبس الايد وحطها. When you practice your examination, you should all the time practice while you are counting, washing your hands or sanitization in your account. Okay? First of all, لو سمحت بعد اذنك ممكن خداعك معك خداع موجود كان مخبئي تحت تمام بس تو مي ليف بس تو مي لوك ات ات لوك فور دي شو ولا واحد فيكم اللي اكزامن فاوند اوت ذات هيز هافينغ سم شو انسرت اتس كيلينج جايز اتس ريلي كيلينج بوي Okay? Because you are, you, you don't feel good to touch the shoes, so no show way. It? No, it's not that. Like, you should really examine and see how much he's using, why he's using this. Okay? Then, look at the wear pattern. I would say all of you, by the way, you go by it. <laughs> uh, the wear pattern, I'm looking to the wear pattern here. Then, I'm looking to the wear pattern inside. Okay? And the show race. Okay? okay? Thank you very much. I can see that the patient is sitting quite comfortably on the couch. I can't see any walking assistant devices. I can't see any crotches around him. Help stamp any crotch Okay? So the patient has steady gait with equal swing and stance phases bilaterally. Okay, Shukrati. While I'm here, I would finish my inspection. So, looking at the patient from the front, I can see that uh, uh, there is no scars, no obvious deformity. Muscle bones are symmetrical bilaterally. I can that I can see that his shoulder is livid. Okay, I'm having a very narrow room to room around. So, I would ask the patient. So, looking at the side, I can't see any joint contractures or abnormality. The muscle bulk is symmetrical uh, and no abnormal vulture. I can't see any scar and I have to see very carefully for the arthroscopy portal scars. Okay? Don't ever miss it. Looking from the back, I can see symmetrical proteal folds. Okay? And I can see no scars, no deformity. One thing that I missed here is asking the patient for a proper exposure. Okay? You don't really forget it. Looking at the side, I can see the same finding, and I can't see any uh, uh, scars or deformity. Looking for the arthroscopy portals, you need to look for them on the lateral side. And they are lateral. The portals, they're starting from lateral. Yes. Anterolateral, who uh, direct anterior. Then, after I finish this, I will do the trendling peric test. هنسوي فحص هنمسك تسوي الشيء هذا لما بطلب منك تثني ركبتك اليمين تثنيها بالطريقة هذه ما تثنيها بالطريقة هذه تمام؟ وانت واقف فيك تحط ايدك على ذراعك تمام؟ عشان ما ما تمام؟ تمام I'm feeling both anterior superior and weak spines the patient is holding my forearm ممكن تثني ركبتك اليمين؟ اوكي so positive test if he is having trending very bulging on the left side, which is the area that he's standing on, he would have his pelvis dropped in the opposite side. Okay? So inside, yeah, so yes. So we didn't understand here, Samahat. That's the shape. Sometimes he doesn't drop, but he will lean on your forearm. Okay? So the area that he's leaning on, this is the weak area. Okay? So he's having negative trending very since I'm here, I'm both the patient to bind. I will complete my inspection and looking carefully, okay, for any things that I have missed, okay. I don't forget to see into the adductor areas, okay. This is quite important, okay. After I finish that, 
then since I don't forget it and it's encountered as a part of the inspection, I would start with the length length discrepancy. And the matter of طريقة هذه صح؟ Yes. تمام. For some patients with the big bellies, okay, uh, it's the um, their umbilicus are not uh, central or symmetrical. So it's best better to measure from a bony from from the surface turn, okay? And taking your measurement to the body bone, as opposed to the medial mandibles, okay? I take the measurement, which is 120 here. I don't really need to take off my left hand, okay? Then I take it here, and I take, take the measurement, which is 120 by that here, okay? Fill up there, no ring up, duct it, or duct it, as if Don't touch it. Leave them the comfortable way, okay? One important thing, you need to be very familiar with your tail. It's a killing point. Because in the exam, you're not really, you cannot really concentrate about the reading. So there are two ticks or tr uh, tricks that you need to know. Here is the inches, and here are the centimeters. You need to see that before you start. One more thing, the tape doesn't start from zero. It starts from this. So you, you make up your mind. Either you, it's better to put it in zero, especially when you measure the true length, not in the blue tape. Okay? Then, after I finish with the apparent, I see that his business is not square. This side is higher. Okay? So, I either I take it into abduction if he's not having any abduction deformity and becomes squared. Okay? If he has fixed abduction deformity, I abduct the other side to the same degree. And it's squared. Okay? Since the patient doesn't have any, I will take his Put and the bed is squared, then I'm measuring from zero it's one hundred here on the right and one hundred on the left. So the patient doesn't have any limb length discrepancy. If no limb length discrepancy, I shouldn't proceed with the limb length. I should stop here and go to the next part, which is the palpation or feel. Say that the patient is having limb length discrepancy. I have to do a Galeazzi test, okay? But when you do a Galeazzi test or Thomas test, you have to make sure that the patient doesn't have any prosthesis inside, okay? Sometimes it's dangerous to do a Thomas test or severe flexion if the patient is having a total limb because you will dislocate his limb. You have to mention that to the examiner and keep it in your mind, especially if you see a surgical scar. Okay? This is a very important. So, patient doesn't have surgical scar and has no surgery before. So, I do a Galeazzi test. For a Galeazzi test, you bend your knees into 80 or 90 degrees. Make sure that both heels are the same. The examiner should you see, see you doing this. Okay? And don't look at like that. You really need to leave. Look for any anterior differences. That means the femur changes and superior differences, that means the tibia, okay? Then, so the shortening in the femur, then I have to tell the examiner, I have to make sure whether the shortening, because of the uh, above the trochanter or below the trochanter, we do the test that Islam did. So, first of all, right triangle. You can do it in an easier way. You take a line from the anterior superior spine, you draw it down to the bed, and you take another line from the tip of the GTE that some people, it's very difficult to find, okay? And you draw it down to the bed. And you take your tape and you measure it. Yeah, it's long. Okay? Then you go to the other side. You feel the anterior superior leg spine, take it down to the bed, and take the GT tip to the bed. And with marker? With marker over the bed. Okay? And you measure it, okay? And you take the measurement. That's enough. You don't really need to do the Nilton or the Schumacher. But we will take the Nilton and Schumacher in order for clarification. So the Nilton line, it's a line that Islam says from the scale tuberosity that you have to palpate and find. And the anterior superior leg spine, you pass a line here, and you do the same on the other side. And you see how much the GT is away from that line. GT usually should be at or below this line. 
G if the GT is above this line, that means that the patient has genovarum or significant uh, femoral neck shortening. Okay? The last line is the Schumacher line. Okay? <coughs> so you take from the tip of the GT to the anterior superior iliac spine and you pass a line. You do the same on the other side. Both lines should meet above the ampelitis. If they meet below the ampelitis, that means the patient has bilateral uh, coxaverum. Or if there's a shortening in one side, so they meet on the opposite side. Because the angle would be very acute on the uh, disease the side. Okay? So we're done with the limb length discrepancy, so we go into feel. For the feel, make sure that you warm your hand, especially in cold times, you feel for hotness. Okay? Look at the patient. Start your feeling systematically, feeling at the muscle bulk. Okay? Look at the patient's face. Anterior superior spine, you go through the iliac crest. Okay? You're feeling the ischia then you're feeling the greater tuberosity. And you make sure you palpate at the greater tuberosity and posterior to the greater tuberosity, looking for trochanteric uh, bursitis or tendinopathy. Okay? When you do palpation, you should all the time compare it to the other side. Again, palpating from the front, going to the anterior superior spine, iliac crest, going back to the ischium, then the GT and the back of the CT. Okay? So we're done with the feel. Okay, as part of the feel, in order not to forget it, and it's quite important, is feeling the distal pulses bilaterally. Okay, then we go into the move. So you can do the move with the Thomas test together. Okay, one way of doing a Thomas test. But before doing that, you should put your hand palm below the lumbar spine. Okay? Now, his lumbar lordosis has been obliterated. Okay? I feel they've obliterated. Okay? Now, the patient, since he's having this, his lumbar spine, uh, lumbar lordosis is still obliterated. He's not using his lumbar lordosis, but I can see some gapping here, which is flexion mm -hmm. deformity. If the patient wants to correct it, you will see what happens. His lumbar spine will go up. Okay? So you measure this angle, which is the fixed friction deformity angle. Okay? Then you ask, take it. Now I'm obliterating the lumbar spine again. And you measure it the same angle again. Okay? So you see that he's having like 15 or 10 degrees of fixed friction deformity. You can do it to the other side, of course, but since I'm bending both knees and my hand is there, it's more comfortable for me and for the patient not to take my hands on and off. Okay? You can do it in another way. You put your hand and you ask the patient to bend the knee. For example, I'm putting my hand here. There is a number of places. Bend the knee. I'm obliterating it. Okay? Then I'm looking at the fixed friction point. Okay? But doing it for, with both sides is easier and more comfortable. Okay? Okay, so we're done with the friction. And the patient was having a degree of 130 or uh, 125 degrees of hip flexion bilaterally. Then, after that, one of the most important things, you need to square the pelvis, put your hand on one axis and your elbow on another axis. Okay? Then take the leg into abduction. Stop when the anterior superior spine moves. Yes. Okay? If it moves like that, then I'm moving the pelvis. So this is 45 degrees of abduction. Look at the patient's face when you move it. 30 degrees of abduction. And when you do the other side, you go to the other side. Okay? You see the patient's face, abduction, 45, then abduction, 30. Okay? Then, I'm here, so not to move there and here. I just examine the rotations, okay? I bend the knee, the hip into 90, the knee into 90. I'm doing external rotation, which is 45 degrees, I'm looking at the patient's face. Then internal rotation, which is 25 to 30 degrees, okay? 
Again, I repeat the same thing on the other side. Don't forget to look at the patient face. And I can see symmetrical rotation. Okay? And if you go to the right side of the patient office, you know, the movement yes. the side here. Yes, but you don't do, yani, for example, you do the adduction or adduction here, then you go to adduction. So rotation, so rotation. Khalid, yani, don't move too much. Okay? Then, final thing on the uh, movement, which is low rolling, which is a special test for any intraarticular pathology. Okay? This is something that you can do from one side. Okay? One movement is left, which is the extension. Don't ever forget it and do it by the end of the examination. Then we go on to the next special test. The most important special test for the head are Fadir, Faber, Ober test. Okay? Those are the most important ones. If you want to add any one, you just making more taking more time in your examination. Okay? So Fadir test, which is flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. Okay? For femoral acetabular impingement. Okay? Then Fabier test, which is flexion, abduction, and external rotation. While you're doing that, okay, you're making your patient's leg on that side, and you need to support the pelvis from the other side. Look at the patient's face. Positive test is for intraarticular pathology and for sacroiliac. Exactly. Okay? That's for fever and fat test. Usually when you do such tests, you don't really need, if they ask you to examine one side, right hip, for example, you do it on the right, you don't really need to do it on the other side. Because you don't want to compare here. Right? Okay. So we're done with this uh, fatter and fatter. Then we go to into over test. Tamam? Mungkin lo semak tamar, tiga hari jam lah. Tamam. For over test, we're, we're testing for what, uh, Islam? The UTBS. The UTBS tightness, so? The UTBS band tightness. So, the maneuver is done by doing hip flexion, abduction, tamam? then extension, and leave it. If the patient is not able to take his leg down, that means that his iliotibial band is tight. Okay, again, the test is performed by flexion, abduction, extension, and leave it done. Okay? Since we are here, okay, and for part uh, of mentioning things, we can do the bioreformis test. Okay? So the bioreformis test is done by doing Flexion, adduction, okay, of the head, and positive test can be either bend at the back or say it again. Okay, bend. This is for bilateral flexion, abduction. Okay. Then I ask the patient to go prone. You can do extension. You can do extension like that, but extension is more comfortable like that because it's a neutral. While the patient is in lateral position, you don't know where the neutral uh, part. Okay? You can do the any test, okay? Which is uh, quadriceps tightness, tightening by flexing the quadriceps. Positive test, you will see hip extension. I think flexion is this one. With this one or this? Sorry, this one. If you, yeah, exactly. If you bend the knee, this one will raise. The last examination is hip extension, you see how much is extended? Around 15 degrees. Okay? I'm going to turn to the line. I will complete my examination by doing neurovascular examination, and I would like to examine the knee and the lumbar, lumbar spine. Shukran Ammar. Jazakallah khair. Samhna ala ta'ala. Internal snapping ta'ala. Internal snapping of the Internal snapping of the iliosaurus. I don't remember that. Terminal tendon rotation, I don't know that he has. 